Good day, good day, my Tropics family. How are you all doing? Thanks for tuning in. Welcome back. So, the elections came and it has ended. No. The representatives that you have selected must start working. So, there's a lot of things that need to be done right now. So drop in the comment section down below what you want to see being done in your community and what you want to see being done in Jamaica at large. Right here, I have compiled all the results for you from a candidate to candidate and from constituency to constituency. And we are going to get into this. I am going to show you who won everything. I'm going to give you the numbers and also I am going to give you the comparison with 2016. So I just want to remind you that at the end of the day, we are one Jamaica, one love. And in the end, we want to see our country better. So let's just unite because in all, we are one Jamaica. In 2016, it was the PNP's Derek Kelly that uh, took home St. James Southern over Homer Davis. But this year, 2020, Homer Davis took it for the JLP over Walton Small with 7,223 votes compared to Walton Small 5,275 votes to win with a whopping 1,948 votes. In the St. James Northwestern, Orish Chang of the JLP took it over Anthony Henry of the PNP in 2016. He was able to retain his seat when he went up against George Hamilton of the People's National Party, where he recorded 6,189 votes to win his seat by a whopping 4,264 votes. In St. James East Central, Edmund Bartlett went up against Noel Donaldson of the PNP in 2016, where he won his seat. He also retained his seat going up against Michael Hemmings this year, who recorded 3,206 compared to Edmund Bartlett. 7,338 to win by 4,132 votes. In the St. James Central, you had Eroy Clark going up against Ashley and Foster in 2016. Now, Eroy Clark went up against Andre Hilton and retained his seat with a 6,456 votes. Here, against Andre Hilton to 8,607 votes. Here he was able to win by a maximum of 2,849 votes. In the St. James West Central, Marlon Muller who fought one in 2016 against Sharon Abrams. This year, he went up against Andre Hilton and was able to to win her seat here again where she recorded 6,144 votes against the PNP Andre Hilton to win by 1,755 votes. In Anover Eastern, Dave Hume Brown of the JLP won against Winter Mockingtouch. This year, he went up against Weave Hines, where he was again able to win his seat with a 5,972 votes against Weave's 4,377 votes, with a total winning vote of 1,595. In Anova Western, you had Ian Ailes of the PNP going up against Brian Wallace of the JLP. This year, though, Ian Hills was not lucky enough because Tamika Davis 
was able to win him with her 6,008 votes. Here, she won him by a whopping 1,021 votes. In the Westmoreland Eastern, you had Luther Buchanan, who took it for the PNP against Andrea Walters in 2016. This year, there was some confusion between this seat because at first it was given to Daniel Lawrence. But after a recount, it was a tie. The seat was, however, given to Luther Buchanan after he won a extra ballot that was pulled by the returning officer. Magisterial recount was then ordered for the seat. In Westmoreland Central, the PNP's Dwayne Vaz won against George Wright in 2016. However, this year, George Wright was the victor with 8,428 votes against Dwayne Vaz's 7,200 to win by a total of 1,228 votes. In Westmoreland Western, Tullaworth Wickham McNeil won in 2016 against Dissex Palmer. However, this year he was overturn by Moreland Wilson with 6,116 votes compared to his 5,069. Moreland was able to take victory with a total of 1,047 votes. In the St. Elizabeth South Western, Floyd Green was the victor in 2016 against U Buchanan. And uh, this year, he was able to also take the win over Ewan Stevenson with 7,106 votes compared to his 9,000. 212 to win by a total of 2106 in St. Elizabeth Southeastern Franklin Witter after JLP won against Richard Parchment in 2016 he was able to retain his seat when he went up against Dwayne Spencer who got 6349 against his 8995 he was able to win with a total of 2,646 votes. In the St. Elizabeth Northwestern, you had William J.C. Hutchinson, who won for the Jamaica Labor Party in 2016. And this year, he was able to retain his seat against Ryan Keating who scored 2,163 votes against his 4,834. He was able to become victorious with a total of 2,671 votes. In St. Elizabeth Northeastern, you had the PNP winning against Safal Longmore of the JLP. Now you have Delroy slowly after JLP who won with 7,029 votes against Bezuwait, 6,524 votes for the People's National Party. And Delroy slowly was able to come away with the winning for this area with a total of 505 votes. In Manchester Southern, you had Michael Stewart of the PNP winning against Adrian McCluskey. This year, Michael Stewart went up against Robert Chin and lost to the JLP 6,810 votes. And Robert Chin was able to win by 894 votes. In Manchester Central, the incumbent Peter Bunting won in 2016 against St. Aubin Bartlett. However, this year, 2020, Rhoda Mike Crawford was able to overtake him with 8,097 votes against his 7,112 to win with a 985 lead in votes. 
in Manchester Northeastern, or the show of the JLP went against the Valentano Wint of the PNP in 2016. This year, he went up against Donald Jackson. And he was again victorious, scoring 6,909 against Donald's 2,990 to win his seat with a whopping 3,919 votes. In Manchester Northwestern in 2016, they had Michael Phillips against Omar Frith in which Michael won and he was able to retain his seat this year with 5,602 against Damian Young's 4,870 votes. He was able to take it home with a total of 723 votes. In Clarendon Central, you had incumbent Michael Henry in 2016 going up against normal Lou Lindsay this year he was able to retain his seat with 6745 votes over Zulika Jesse's 3742 he was able to win by 3003 votes in Clarendon Southeastern, you had already had Spencer of the JLP against Patricia Sutherland of the PNP. And Pernell Charles was able to take it home this year with 10,219 votes against 7275 of Patricia to win with 2,944 votes. In Clarendon Southwestern, you had Noel R. Scott winning for the PNP against Kent Gammon in 2016. This year, Lothan Cousins was able to take the victory with 6,669 votes against 4602 for Kent Gannon. Here he won by a total of 2,064 votes. In Clarendon North Central, you had Pernell Charles going up against Desmond Brennan in 2016. This year, Robert Nestor Morgan went up against him and was able to win again with 5,726 votes in a total of 1,793 leading votes. In Clarendon Northwestern, Richard Azan went up against Michael Stern. Richard Azan this year though lost his seat to Philip Enriquez who scored 6,124 against his 6,009 votes and Mr. Enriquez won by 115 votes in Clarinda Northern or it's Dali of the PNP won against Caswell Pinnock in 2016. However, this year he wasn't able to outrun Dwight Sibley's who won him with the 60 30 votes to win with a total of 708 votes. In St. Catherine West Central, Christopher Tufton won against Clinton Clark in a 2016. And this year he went up against Kenya Brown and was able to retain his seat with 6,986 votes. And he won by a whopping 4,819. In St. Catherine, South Central, Andrew Wheatley of the JLP won against the PNP. This year, he was able to retain his seat, but against Kurt Matthews, who scored 1,699. And the JLP was able to retain this seat with 5,273 votes. In St. Catherine, in the North Central, Natalie Nita Headley won against the JLP Carencia. This year, she was able to retain her seat with 56 of 53 against 4,351 against the next Natalie. She won by a 
total of 1,302 votes in St. Catherine South Western Everall Warmington of the JLP won against the PNP in 2016. This year, he was able to retain his seat with 11,185 votes versus 6,084 of Dr. Wall. He was able to win by a whopping 5,101 votes. In St. Catherine Northwestern, Robert Pickers Gill won against Newton Amos. This year, you Graham was able to win this seat against Newton Amos. He won by a small amount of 22 votes and this seat is being considered for magisterial recount. In St. Catherine Northeastern, Leslie Campbell of the JLP won against Philip Phyllis Mitchell of the PNP. And uh, this year, the JLP retained it with 59.80 against Oswe Senior, 33.12. Carenzia was able to take the seat with a difference of 2668 votes in st catherine central olivia Bobsy grange won against norris grant in 2016 and she was able to regain her seat against maurice wesley who only got 893 votes compared to her 8179 she won the seat with a whopping number of 7286 in St. Catherine Eastern, Denise Daly went up against Dwight Peku where she won in 2016 and she was able to retain her seat against him here in 2020 where she gains 5,602 votes to win this seat with a whopping number of 1,345 votes. In St. Catherine East Central, Orlando Terry Long went up against Orlando Brown, where the JLP won. And this year, 2020, Orlando Terry Long regained his seat with 6,374 votes, where he won Raymond Price with a total of 2016 votes in St. Catherine Southeastern. The PNP Colin Fagan won against Keith Blake in a 2016. Here in 2020, he was not able to overcome Robert Miller, where he lost his seat to him, gaining 5,735 to lose by 1,094 votes. In the St. Catherine Southern, Fitz Jackson of the PNP won in 2016. And this year, he was able to hold on to that seat against Delroy Dabney of the Jamaica Labour Party, where he was able to win by 742 votes. In a Kingston Western Desmond McKenzie won in 2016 against Joseph Witter. This year, he went up against him and was able to gain 8,480 votes compared to his 882, where he won by a big margin of 7,598 votes. In Kingston Central, Ronnie Twaits of the PNP won against Robert Chin. This year, the PNP lost this seat to Donovan Williams, who gained 46 23 votes against Imani Duncan Price, 41 47, to win by 476 votes. In the Kingston East and Port Royal, the PNP Philip Paulwell won and he was able to regain his seat here in 2020 against Agogo Priestley where he won his seat with a whopping number of 3,351 votes in the St. Andrew East Rural. Juliet Olness went up against Amani Duncan Price and she was able to regain her seat this year in 2020 against 
Joan Garden Webley. She was able to win her seat with a total of 2,588 votes. In St. Andrew Eastern, Faval Williams in 2016 won against Andre Hilton. This year, she went up against Venetia Phillips instead, and she actually regained her seat. She gained 6,972 to win her seat by 2,242 votes. In St. Andrew West Rural, Juliet Cuthbert Finn went up against Paul Buchanan, and she was able to regain her seat seat but this time against crystal tomlins where she gained 8620 votes against this crystal to win by a whopping 3073 votes in st andrew north central carl samuda won for the jlp in 2016 this year he went up against only lynch and he was able to retain his seat with a 5,471 against O'Neill's 2,010 votes, he was able to beat him with a large margin of 3,461 votes. In St. Andrew Northeastern, Delroy Chuck won for the PMP in 2016. He was able to retain that victory with a 5,100 five votes compared to 1969 for david where he won this seat with a 3136 leading votes in st andrew northwestern Derek smith of the jlp won against the pnp donovan isaac this year two complete different candidates went up but the jlp was able to regain their seat for Nigel Clark where he won this seat with a leading number of 4069 votes in St Andrew Southern Omar Davis went up against Dennis Messias and in 2020 Mark Golden was able to retain the seat for the PNP against Victor Hyde where he got 7881 votes to win the seats with a large whopping number of 6,781 in St. Andrew Southwestern, Portia Simpson Miller went up against Victor Hyde. This year, Angela Brown Burke was able to retain the seat with 7,036 votes compared to Maureen's Lauren 629 to win the seat with a whopping 6,407 votes vote lead in St. Andrew West Central the Prime Minister Andrew Olness went up against Patrick Roberts in 2016 and he went up to him again and won again with 71.99 against Roberts 39.25 where he was able to retain his seat with a winning number of 3,274 votes. St. Andrew Western George Anthony Hilton won against Trevor Webb in 2016. Again, he was able to retain his seat with 6,216 votes versus 4,661 for Darlan Francis to retain his seat with a leading number of 1,555 votes. In St. Andrew Southeastern, Julian Robinson of the PNP won it against Charlton Colley of the JLP and he was able to retain his seat with 4,508 versus Carrie 3,342 votes where Julian won his seat with a whopping 1,166 votes. In the St. Andrew East to Central, Peter Phillips won in 2016 against Beverly Prince. This year, he was able to retain his seat with 4,963 versus Jordan's 3,881. He was able to retain his seat with a 1,082 vote. In St. Thomas Western, James Robertson won in 2016 of the JLP. This year, 
he was able to retain his seed winning with 8,380 versus 5,620 for Marshall of the PNP. He won with a whopping 2,760 <laughs> votes. In St. Thomas Eastern, Fenton Ferguson of the PNP won in 2016. However, this year he lost his seat to Dr. Michelle Charles Freeman, who gained 6,126 to win Mr. Fenton by 734 votes. In Portland Eastern, Linville Bloomfield of the PNP won in 2016 against Darren Wood. This year, Anne-Marie Vaz won for the JLP with 8,271 versus 6,368 to win with a leading number of 1,903. In Portland Western, Daryl Vaz won against Vernon Emmons in 2016. This year, he retained his seat against Valerie Nita Robertson, who got 4,037 votes. Daryl Vaz won by a big margin of 2,379 votes. In St. Mary Western, Robert Montague won in 2016 against Julian Silveria and he was able to retain his seat with 9,770 versus Dr. Jason Stanford's 6,346. He was able, able to retain his seat with a large margin of 3,424 votes. In St. Mary Central, Maurice Guy of the PNP won in 2016 against Jason James. This year, he was able to hold on to that seat with 6,224 versus Lennon Richard 5,754. He won by a 470 margin. In St. Mary Southeastern, Normal Dunn of the JLP went up against Winston Green in 2016. This year, Mr. Dunn was able to win with a 7117 vote versus Dr. Shane Alexis 5381. He won with a 1736 margin. In a St. Anna Northeastern, Shiny Robinson, now deceased, went up against Desmond Gilmore. This year, the JLP Marsha Smith was able to retain that seat with 9,059 votes versus Keith Brown, 4,887. She won with a whopping margin of 4,172. In St. Anne Southeastern, Lisa Hannah won for the PNP versus Ivan Anderson. This year, she was able to retain her seat, but there was some disruption now in 2020 as she only won by 32 votes in St. Anna Southwestern Xavier Maine won in 2016 against PNP Keith Walford this year he was able to retain his seat against Valentine Wynn who scored 40-21 against his 7,694 Xavier was able to win with 3,673 votes. In a St. Anne, Northwestern Dayton Campbell of the PNP won in 2016 against O'Neill Lawrence. But this year, he lost his seat against Crystal Lee's 7,821 against his 5,783. Miss Lee was able to win by a large margin of 2,038 votes. In Trelawney Southern, Marissa Dalrymple Philbert won for the JLP and she was able for the fourth or fifth time to retain her seat with 7,093 where she led Lloyd Gillings with a whopping 4,063 votes. In Trelawney Northern, Victor Wright won for the PNP against Dennis Meadow this year. He lost to Tove Hamilton's 8,500.
eight votes compared to his 6,771, where she won him by a great margin of 1,738. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Mika on Tropics topics do remember to subscribe please subscribe to my channel so i can grow please help me grow thanks for watching do remember to like subscribe share and hit that notification bell